Hello everyone, we are here in a sunny fall day in Denmark and, and just behind me you see uh, what we are calling the Triple E series ship. It's considered the, the, the longest and the largest uh, shipping uh, ship in the planet and it's uh, just fantastic. I, I'm just trying to do this. I decided to record this video because I'm sure that uh, many of you uh, would wonder to see and understanding a little bit about the project so I decided to record this just to give you some ideas you, you saw it's completely crowded here because Merck decided to, to stop this ship here in Copenhagen to give the opportunity for people to visit for people to come in for people to enter so you see this and, and now it's a weekday so just to give you an idea and, and what is my idea is to go with you inside and making some flashes and talking a little bit more about uh, about this ship if you if you look the name triple e uh, i did some research i have some some numbers here uh, it's because economy of scale energy energy efficiency and environmental performance this is not just a huge ship we are talking about very different things you see uh, that this consumption it's half of the consumptions in terms of co2 uh, uh, comparing with other ships so it's a very very efficient ship it's not just a large one and just to give you an idea 18,000. Uh, uh, containers so when 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 you look to the containers they look like a domino piece you know it, it's really really fantastic the size and just to give you an idea Mars did this and the entrance is free so we'll be uh, together you see all these people they are trying to to visit and to get in and, it, and what is really fantastic it's I did just a calculation here 18,000 containers $2,000 per container 23 days from 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 uh, China to, to to Denmark or to Europe uh, this uh, related to a cost of 1.6 million dollars per day they will be stopping the ship for 10 days just to give the opportunity to the Danish people to visit so this is a fantastic opportunity I'll be taking my kids during the weekend uh, to come here to see but uh, let's now talk a little bit about the project and let's understand what is coming on going on inside Hi, we are here uh, in the museum, so you see a lot of things crossing here, uh, and, and we have the ship here. And you see, look here, we have a, something like a small museum explaining these concepts about uh, uh, energy efficiency. And if you look, one of the main challenges, the main big changes, is that the engines are now close to the back of the ship. This not only allows you to fit more containers, but also change the, the efficiency of the engine. And this added to the recapturing of the, the heated waste so they can recycle this waste and, and transform this waste into more power. Makes an extremely efficient uh, ship. This uh, reduced the cost around 30% per container when you are transporting. Talking about the CO2 emission, so this 50% of reduction comes from the increase of the capacity and this U shape that brings the containers here. And we have also a different engine and the position of the engine, and also this recovery of the of the of the, the warm and the, the heated uh, waste. And this makes this ship 180 times more efficient than a plane. And when you calculate the cost per ton per kilometer, so it's just to give you a, a, a quick idea of, of what we're talking about. So we are talking about three grams per ton per kilometer, and comparing with uh, more than 500 grams uh, in, in a plane. This ship was built in, in South Korea and it was built in pieces and the pieces were, uh, were put together uh, it's, it's, it's a very different process so it's, it's really very very impressive when we think about 18,000 uh, containers in it's, it's really very very impressive and we'll be going up on that stairs to come in to understand more about the ship after going up eight floors outside we are in the deck level of this so where i am right now is a container place so look if you see we have a huge amount of containers here and and of course this this uh, ship is not uh, fully loaded so if you see we can see some containers but look if you go up 
up to the end, you see lines and lines of, of, of this. And look on the back, this is the engine. It's the chimney of the, of the, the engines on the back of the, the ship. It's really a very impressive, the size. On the halfway over to the deck, and, and I just stopped here to show you how huge is this ship. So look, every single box here, it's a container. And this is not a 20. Uh, so it's a huge one. And look, on that building, that building in the white is the building where I work. So my window, I can see this. You look how small it, it looks here. So if you look on the back, you see two chimneys, the, the black and blue one. And, and these chimneys are, are the new position of the engine. Remember, we have a U shape here. So there is a huge amount, a much more containers that we are not looking now than the ones that we are looking, okay? So just to give you an idea. So we are in the, the, the highest part of, of the ship. So the, the ship is controlled by this area. So we have two sides that uh, they have all the commons. So to do some maneuver and to, 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 to move with the ship, they use this. And it's very impressive because we are about uh, 20 stores here. It's a very, very high place. And, and, and from here, you see how big uh, it is. I'm wondering to see how they can do uh, a small movement. Imagine that this ship doesn't have brakes. Just behind the engines, you see the two chimneys, and, and if you look, you have an idea of uh, how big is this. This is a line of containers. Okay, this is a line, and, and just to see how complex. If you see the marks in the floor, you see this is one piece of steel. So imagine how complex it is to build this. I imagine like a, a huge and an, an unbelievable uh, 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 big uh, size of Lego. Uh, we, we started this video at the beginning and now we are on the back of, of, of the ship. And this uh, concludes this very quick video and I, I apologize for, for the mistake. So I'm, I'm doing it with a non-professional camera and, and I'm just recording to share because I know that most of you didn't have the opportunity to come here and to see this uh, except by through official video. So this is uh, something interesting and it's amazing to see this. The, the cost of this specific ship was 185 million US dollars, uh, two, 2 2.3, 2 2.4 uh, years uh, uh, of development and Maersk ordered 20. So it's almost 4 billion dollars in, in the project uh, just to make this uh, a reality. So I hope you enjoy this and see you next time.